morning everyone welcome back to another vlog it's january 2nd by the way i got up to trade and the market's closed which means i'm just up really early and i was like well i might as well start my day so i just got dressed to go work out this is what i'm wearing just all black this is from aloe and my pants are lululemon i'm gonna put my shoes on while i talk to you but today's video is so exciting genuinely because one i feel like i haven't vlogged in like two weeks and also today's video is going to be a major intense life reset this is not our regular reset routine this is going to be like beginning of the year i want to reset my life i moved into this apartment a year ago and I haven't I feel like fully cleaned it out or gone through all the spaces in it to declutter So I'm gonna do that today. We're gonna reorganize my entire apartment reorganize my closet Declutter and I'm gonna be cleaning along the way. So it's just going to be a really fun Get my life back on track reset my entire life for the new year type of video But first I need to go to the gym and get a workout in. I also just got back from out of town last night Renee and I went on a little staycation. I feel like I came back feeling so much more refreshed so i'm very excited to film this video i think i should just go down and work out i'm gonna put this sweater on because i like to work out with a sweater at the beginning so i can like get myself sweating and we can go <laughs> blueberry banana smoothie so good just wanted to like refuel myself after that workout but now i'm gonna jump in the shower get dressed quickly because i have a breakfast date should i do foundation nah i'm just hanging out with you guys today anyways Okay, here's the outfit. I know I'm running so late, but I'm still gonna show you my outfit because I love you guys. I have on this black set from Aritzia. I just put on my Burke clogs with my little Prada purse. Hi. Hi, baby. I'm sorry I'm late. Don't worry. got back from breakfast it's 12 o'clock right now and i'm going to quickly reply to some emails because i haven't even looked at them in like a week because of the holidays and then i also have my planner here because i'm kind of going to outline my day um, of like what i want to do i have some ideas in mind for organization this is clearly not my laptop um i broke my laptop which is so sad <laughs> It was on like one of the back cushions, which is my fault for even leaving it there. And then it like fell off. Oh, it like shattered the screen and dented my computer and it wouldn't turn me back on. So yesterday I went to Best Buy to drop it off. So I'm supposed to get it back in like three weeks, hopefully if they're able to fix it. But I'm using Renee's laptop. And he also has like the huge Mac, which I never get because it's so big for me to like lug around everywhere. <laughs> just planned my day so from 12 30 until 2 i want to declutter my entire apartment go through all the little nooks and crannies of this place take out everything that i'm not using and then after that i'm going to head to the container store i already started a list on my phone of certain containers and organizers that i know i need later in the afternoon slash evening i'm going to be doing like my vision board planning for the year 
and also i'm gonna set my monthly goals for january so i think we should just get started um the room that i have down first is my closet so i don't even think i've ever like shown my closet so you come in and this is kind of how i have everything organized i know it looks like kind of cluttered i have sweatpants which that needs to be organized better and then i have all these baskets at the top over here i have all of my hoodies and sweatshirts i have all my boots up there and then this is where i have all my shoes these little storage boxes are like the best thing i've ever bought um so i will have those linked down below and then here i have all of my blazers and then i also have these ikea drawers and here it's just like extra craft storage but this just needs to be organized we're gonna reduce the clutter and i already started this bag like last week full of stuff that i don't wear I have these like velour pants and I bought them with the matching like sweat jacket. I love the concept of it. I hate the fit and they just like slide off. They make my ass look terrible. So I'm like, I should get rid of them. <sighs> Tell me how. I have this Harry Styles like like what even tour was this his first tour like this is literally a black sweatshirt with his name embroidered on it like they're really scamming us for this <laughs> i feel like i'm not in my fangirl era anymore to where i'm literally gonna wear like their name on my shirt so i'm gonna give this away i have been avoiding this i've literally kept it in my closet for like three years haven't touched it four years maybe I have all of my sweat and it's all color coded. And then I got rid of a bunch of like old jeans. Now I just have a few pairs. Guys, look at how much we've gotten rid of. All those had clothes on it. Hey guys, the closet is pretty much done. I've cleaned it out, vacuumed it. Now we can do bathroom. bathroom is done now i've gone through all of the little compartments organized everything i had these acrylic like pull out drawers from amazon i love them and i keep like all of my clips in here and stuff i also went through my drawers and organized them so right now i'm going to take a little break i'm gonna walk the dogs make a matcha and then head to the container store Guys, look at this adorable Chamberlain Coffee little like mason jar mug I got. I really miss Emma Chamberlain's videos. I don't know why I've been thinking about it lately and I just like miss her vlogs. Now she only uploads like travel type content. That's random thought. I, I got some Amazon packages, not very many, but a few. But I got these little pastel 
hair clips, some for when I get ready. I'm putting together a little vanity area in my room. Um, and I bought this mirror for it, which I think is so cute. Oh yeah, this is super cute. And then this is the mirror. Whoa, that's amazing. It's a little too HD for me, honestly. I love that. The last thing I got is this shower head filter, which I'm super, super excited for. Clean water starts now. Ooh, this is nice. It actually matches my bathroom. And this is what it looks like. Very excited. We're gonna install this tonight. Made it to the container store, picked up a Dunkin'. So it's 7.30 now and I'm back home. I also went to go drop off my clothes to donate. I'm gonna finish like cleaning and I'll show you what I got at the container store and we'll organize that stuff. But the next section is my room. Um, I haven't even made my bed because I just like ran out of here this morning. So we're gonna start with making the bed. Guys, this is the actual problem drawer. Like this is PJs and there's no order going on here. I don't even know. I feel like I have too many. I feel like I have too many for the amount of drawer space I have. Like, what do I do? to organize some stuff with the new containers I got. So I have this sunglass organizer. And I also got these boot shapers. I got these ring holders. I got this acrylic drawer. I'm gonna try and put the shower head on. I'm so tired. So I've just done my skincare and everything and while I relax on the couch, I'm going to write in my planner um, some things that I didn't get done today for tomorrow. Hello you guys, it is 1.30, it's the next day. I have some Starbucks tea here. I wanna get started on one of the reset projects that I have, which is adding an Ikea dresser to my room. Not a dresser, sorry, it's like a shelving unit. Since I'm going to take all of the Christmas stuff down soon, I wanna have some furniture ready for when I do take it down so it doesn't look so empty. I saw this piece used a lot on Pinterest as like a little display shelf, and I think it's gonna be perfect for like my purses. I have my Starbucks, I'm gonna put on a podcast. Uh, let's build this. Unfortunately, it is time. 
Okay, I finished making the bookshelf. This is what it looks like. I've only put two on there so far. I need to get the other ones from the top of my closet. This, literally ignore this. And then for my dresser, I took off all the Christmas things. Ignore that in the middle. I just need to order a few things, get some stuff on Amazon and Etsy to fill it up. I have to hop on a Zoom meeting and then I'm going to edit a video. But when I start doing my vision board, I will catch up with you, but I'm really- just finished doing my vision board and some goal planning for the month what i love about this planner is it has like a little map for you to like map everything out and it has the topics of career attitude health personal development relationships and finances i don't want to like make you bored with all of it but i will go through some of them so for personal development uh, i want to try more new foods try more new things i can be a very picky eater um, and i'm just trying to try new foods i want to have more experiences oh that's another thing i want to prioritize experiences because i feel like one day i'll look back and i'll be like why didn't i try more things while i had time be kinder to myself and give myself breaks for career um i want to do things that scare me i want to i guess take chances with like my career if i feel like there's an opportunity to i always feel like it's better to overshoot and not be sad if you don't reach those goals just i think you'll get a lot farther if you're striving for something beyond maybe what you could even do in a year rather than underestimating yourself and selling yourself short for attitude and mindset obviously only positive thinking as much as i can knowing that stress isn't worth it i'm really bad at letting stress get to me and like even ruin my mood i get so tense and i hate that so i'm leaving that energy in 2022 and also no comparisons. I don't want to compare myself to other people. The only person I should be comparing myself to is me. I just want to do what I'm doing now, be proud of it, and like just that's it. So those are some of my goals for the year. I'm using Renee's laptop obviously because I broke mine, which is so annoying. So I know different people probably have different definitions as to like what a vision board is for them. For me, it's just basically a collage of pictures and like little quotes or sayings that emulate the energy that I'm going for this year. It's kind of a visualization of what I want for myself this year. This is the vision board that I have. Travel moments, really hoping to go to Europe this year. I want to finish my home and my space, more social outings, beach time, wanting to achieve more in my career this year, some self-care moments in here, healthy lifestyle, and of course, all the good outfits that are gonna come this year. Um, and then some quotes that I have are, fight for your fairy tale because it's your dream and only you are gonna make it happen. And then here I have, stop worrying how it's going to happen and start believing it will. Um, I put a little thing that says, a new era of me, because honestly guys, this is the first year that I'm being really intentional with things I want to achieve. And then down here I have a Bible quote, it's my favorite quote, but it just says, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That verse means so much to me. And just kind of remembering that I'm not doing any of this alone. But I hope you like this vision board. I'll put it on the screen so you can get a clearer picture of it. If you make a vision board, please tag me in it. That's basically it for this video. We got so much done. Like this was the intense life reset. I was craving, I was wanting. If you haven't seen my Notion tour and like how I'm also organizing myself digitally for the new year, then go watch that. I will have it linked. Go follow me on Instagram or TikTok. Hope you're all having an amazing start to 2023. We're gonna get through this year together. I love you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.